this is an exciting time to be in public education. And particularly if you're working in an urban community like Springfield. Let me tell you a little about our school system. We have about 8,000 students who attend daily. We are 80% free reduced price lunch. We are on the state of Ohio's report card rated effective. That's a B. If you haven't, aren't familiar with the system, we are the highest rated urban high poverty district in the state of Ohio. We are the only urban high poverty district rated effective. I'm just so pleased with the work our children, our staff, our parents, and our community are doing in Springfield to make all of that possible. It doesn't happen by chance, as Jack was saying. It's a function of a lot of hard work on the part of a lot of people. We're fortunate. We've been out recruiting. We have 700 volunteers from our community who work in our schools in some capacity, sometimes helping in the office, more often than not working with our children. If you want to do some research on that, come on over to Springfield. We'd love to have some research, quantifiable research done on that. We also have incredible resource because we have state-of-the-art technology throughout the school system and are currently entering into conversations with Apple to look at one-on-one -on -one computing pre-K through 12. And that decision will, will rest on a bond issue that we have before the public this May. We have all new school buildings. All 16 of our buildings are less than 10 years old, thank to, thanks to the cooperation and assistance of our community. That means we have what we need to get the job done. We're always trying to figure out what that job is. And that's where, if you're interested in doing research, we're interested in talking with you. I'll leave these up here. We have a kindergarten through 12th grade online school that operates in the Springfield City School District. What makes this one somewhat unique is you can go online all the way, part of the way, or for one course. Right now we have a mom who is homeschooling, but she now has a daughter who is about to enter high school, and she said, guess what course she was having trouble with? Math, algebra, yeah, it's always that, those math people, you know. So we said, fine, why don't you take that course online from us and you continue to homeschool? And she said, well, gee, I can do that? And we said, sure, why not? She said, well, could I try it out for a couple weeks? And we said, sure. Kick the tires, look under the hood, try the radio, see what you like. And at the end of two weeks, you want to continue? Great. She said, how much does it cost me? We said, are you a resident of Springfield? She said, yes. And we said, it's free. Because this is just another way to provide education. She is continuing to homeschool and her daughter's enrolled online to take her math course. Her next question was, well, could she go to Springfield High School to take orchestra? You know, it's pretty tough to take orchestra at home or online. <laughs> and we said, sure. But that's all I want her to take. And we said, no problem. You can do that. So she could be homeschooled, be online, and go once a day to Springfield High School to participate in orchestra. And I said, yes. She said, okay, now the bonus question. Can she play on Springfield High School's volleyball team? I said, if she's good enough, yes. <laughs> we could use all the help we could get. So here's information on our online opportunity. And these I'm going to pass around. And on the back of the high school one 
Is all the options that the children have in Springfield, all the choices? There are multiple choices. And what I wanted to point out to you is what makes our district a little unique, and we certainly appreciate the opportunity is, as I just described to you, our students currently can blend programs. It's not just blended learning, it's blended programs. So students at Springfield High can take part of their day in the brick and mortar school called Springfield High. They can take part of the day online and they can take part of their day if they don't like getting up early in the morning in an institution that operates in the evening for both adults and our students called the Learning Cafe. We have job certification classes, GED classes, regular classes called class after class for students. We have a hundred Hispanic families participating in English as, uh, as a group, as a cohort. We provide in the evening in the Learning Cafe dinner for use of our space. By the way, the dinner for the students is free, $3 for adults. Free transportation and our beautiful yellow stretch limos, also called school buses, and free childcare. We want the parents there to be able to learn. We have cooking classes, we have all kinds of parenting classes, all kinds of things, hip hop classes. Okay, and what they're doing is there's an option on this brochure called Credit Flex. So we have students taking classes at night who are also earning credit for graduation. By taking a hip hop class, they're meeting a PE credit. So I encourage you to come. We're doing a lot of novel things, and I really appreciate the opportunity to share with you a, a little about the Springfield City School District. Um, thank you so much. So if you're interested in uh, working with Springfield City Schools, uh, please direct those requests to me, and then I will talk with David um, and that's what we're going to be trying to do is to channel all of this research through the Office of Research so we can facilitate these partnerships.